Hi folks, and welcome to Open Analysis Live, or rather a Twitch clip from our Twitch stream. We're streaming Thursdays and Sundays. Go check us out if you like this kind of stuff. And also a reminder that we have over 200 hours of live stream recordings on our Patreon, as well as in-depth reverse engineering tutorials. If you like this kind of stuff, go check it out. Now let's get back to the clip. Yeah, do something practical, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's probably the best advice. Uh, don't just read tutorials. Oh yeah, if you're just reading stuff, you're not, you're not doing anything. That's a trick, by the way. Um, yeah, that's, that's actually really important. Um, that's, that's a trick of the, of the, of the mind. So if you're reading something and you think that that's the equivalent of, of learning it, it's not, it's, that's a trick. You're, you're wasting time. So what you want to do instead is you want to find ones like that's why the Dr. Fu ones are good because there's an exercise you must complete. So you need to actually go and do the exercise. I, I would say, uh, this is just my opinion, and of course everyone has their own opinion on it. I would say it's less important to read the shit and more important to just take the example and start with the example. And when you get, when, you, when you're like, I don't know what's going on, then go back and read the tutorial that comes along with the example. That's, that's my advice to you, because otherwise you are, you are wasting time, uh, unfortunately. It's not... Unless you're one of those like one percent of people who can just read it and do it, it's you know you're probably not that one percent of people. <laughs> so you're you're gonna have to actually do it. Uh, an another thing that I'll, I'll mention, and this is like uh, again, this is a trick, and you will only you will learn this the hard way if somebody doesn't tell you it. As soon as I tell you this, though, you're gonna you're definitely going to know what I'm talking about because this has happened to everybody you're going to read or watch a tutorial and you're going to be like, I understand this. I know how this works. You're going to look at something simple. It's going to be like, look, we're moving this uh, immediate into this register and then we're adding these two registers and then we're printing it to the screen. And you're going to be like, I know how to do this. Then what's going to happen is you're going to get an example. You'll open up a debugger or you'll open up an IDA and you'll be like, wait a minute. I don't know what I'm looking at because it's going to be slightly different. And that's that's a trick of the brain is that it's you can't just read it or watch a video. It will not sink in. What you want to do is you want to do the exercise and you want to use the video or the tutorial, the written tutorial to help you accomplish the exercise. Right. So you want to do them opposite. You want to actually be practically doing it. And when you get stuck, you want to then rely on the material to tell you what, what to do. Um, otherwise, again, you can waste hours and hours <laughs> watching stuff, waste hours and hours <laughs> reading stuff, and it's it's not it's it's not going to help you. Uh, you know, again, maybe it helps one percent of the people. I don't want to be so absolute about it, but it, it doesn't. Uh, you know, the, the right way to do it is to is to actually do it. Um, and I, I I know this uh, I, I know this personally. Like I I've <laughs> I've experienced this many different times. Um, in last year, I had to learn a lot about compiler basics, like under the hood, like uh, AST trees and stuff like that. Like, how does that work? And I would watch tutorials, like I'd watch lectures and I'd be like, this is pretty straightforward. Like, I know, I remember some of this from university and I remember, you know, I, I know how to do this. And then I would sit down and be like, write a simple Python, like AST uh, optimizer or something like that, which I'd be like, I just watched that on screen. I can do that. And then I'd be like, wait a minute, I don't, what the fuck? I don't know how to do this. You're like, I'm so confused. So yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Start with the exercise and then use the uh, tutorial to guide you through the exercise. Uh, and you'll save time. You'll save a lot of time. Okay, anyway, that's my, that's my little motivation for you. And then the other thing is that it's, it's crazy hard. And like, I'm, I'm not so old that I don't remember how frustrating it was when I was starting out. Uh, if you think like, oh, I'll never get this, it's it's not the case. Uh, you will. It's just it just takes forever. <laughs> it just takes a long time, and it will be confusing at first. That that it's just that's just the way it is. Programming can take years. Yeah, I mean this is you're in this for the long run. I mean that's uh, that's what I was saying. Like it's not it's not demotivating to be like. I mean it can be demotivating to be like it's gonna take me a while to learn this, but like. If you want to be a reverse engineer, you're not. It's not like you're going to dedicate like a month, and then you're going to be a reverse engineer. That's not how it works. <laughs> you know, you're going to dedicate a couple years to this, doing it pretty much every day before you can do, 
you know, before you're you're going to be that capable um, that that you feel like, okay, yeah, I got this, and it's just going to be uncomfortable for a while. That's that's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think you do need to learn how to program, um, and you should probably try and do uh, probably try and do more than one thing at the same time because all of them are, are interlinked. Interlinked. They're, they're all they're all related. So yeah, I mean, sometimes people say like, no, you should break it up and just focus on one thing. But I, I found it personally, it's better to do, to try and do them together. Um, yeah, that's, that, that, that's, uh, again, you, you'll, you'll, you got to make your own decisions as to what you want to, what you want to take on. But I would say that because these things are so interrelated, it's probably better to try and learn them simultaneously. That's, that's my, that's my two cents on it. And also, you'll uh, you'll note if you uh, if you do a little bit of work where you uh, this is what I highly recommend is you write a tiny bit of C code, compile it, and then disassemble it in IDA and mark it up. If you do that, you will learn how to write C code way better. <laughs> you will learn a lot of things very fast. That's kind of like a two x or a five x on the learning process is doing that because then you control both ends of it, right? So you control the, uh, the coding and the disassembly. Um, that it only works so, so far, like you need problems to actually write. So you can do things like write a P parser, write a simple memory injector, write like a memory scanner, that kind of stuff, right? Like simple stuff where you can like look up, you can get hints online, you can like copy paste code, that kind of shit. But if you're doing that and then you're disassembling it and marking it up, I think you'll learn faster than if you just take crack me's and try and do crack me's or whatever, which I guess are also good, but yeah. should I start with C or assembly? Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think you need, I think you need to know both <laughs> and I think they go hand in hand. And, uh, if you're not a developer and you're trying to reverse engineer, you're at a disadvantage. So not saying that you can't do it, you can, but you're just, you're at a disadvantage. So you probably want to be writing a lot of C code. That's what I would say. Um, that, that's definitely going to help you. You're a front end dev student as of right now. Yeah. I mean, I would say try and write a bunch of shit in Z. Try and like, try and write some tools. Um, you know, get started. People always make fun of people who paste, but pasting, pasting works. Get started with pasting and disassemble your stuff and take a look at it. Uh, take a look at what you've written. Um, it, it, it's fact. It's a lot to take on, and you're probably not going to be an expert in anything that you take on, but uh, don't write C, write C++. Yo, what's going on, Pranav? You've been silent. How long you been here? Um, I, I, would, I would recommend writing C, though, um, just because when you're first starting out, it's going to be easier to understand when you're, when you're decompiling it. Yeah. So if you're if you're trying to write like tools for in the infosec industry, everything is pretty much written in Python. Um, so yeah, that that helps a lot. But I'm just talking about for reverse engineering specifically, right? So if you're just if you're just trying to learn how to reverse engineer C, is going to be extremely helpful uh, to learn. That was a long rant. I uh, I feel like I did did clip one of these or something and put them on YouTube. But maybe I'll clip that as well and put it on YouTube. Um, people ask about this a lot, right? So. Uh, and the answer, the advice is always the same, <laughs> which is that it's, it's hard and it takes a while uh, and don't get discouraged. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a reminder that we are live on Thursdays and Sundays on Twitch. And if you like this kind of stuff, go check out our Patreon. We have lots more reverse engineering content over 200 hours of live streams, as well as in-depth reverse engineering tutorials. All right. Until next time, keep exposing the mechanics behind the malware. Stay curious.